outside the realm or outside the parameters or limitations as we put, unfortunately, of Islam. We tend to limit Islam. Islam is very vast. But still, for example, if you look at other traditions, other religions, place have a value in, the, in their religion as well. In the religion of Native Americans, there, are, there is a certain mountain or certain place where they consider that to be the place of worship, where they do not build house, where they do not sell that land. Even today in California, for example, there was a big project that one of the greatest companies, want, they bought the land and they want to build houses there, new houses, new mansions, villas. But they didn't sell a piece of mountain because they, that was considered to be as sacred to them. It has a value. In Hinduism as well, Tuesday night is of a great value, which they call Purnima, I suppose. Tuesday night is special to them. So, what I'm trying to point out is every day, every makan, everything, every human being have a value. Sadat is more valuable than to non Sayyid. However, at the same time, what is near Allah SWT is, is Taqwa. The possibility is there that there, there is a non Sayyid who is more muttaqi than a Sayyid. He is more valuable who is a non Sayyid. But still, outwardly speaking, there are categorizations of things. There are categorizations from the point of view of the value. Now, what is the criteria of the value? Why it becomes valuable? The reason for it becomes to value becomes valuable is that how close it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is closest. So it's considered to be the greatest of all books, the greatest of all kalam, du'as, hadith, scholars speaking on the basis of Quran and Sunnah, wisdom, wise man speaking wise words, where it ever, wherever it comes from, knowledge is considered to be the inheritance of Muslims, regardless of who lays the, lays the foundation of knowledge. You know, Hassan Ali Salam mentions that during that time where people were trying to reject Greek philosophy, where people were trying to, you know, reject uh, Roman investigation and, 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 and uh, discoveries, you know, Hassan says knowledge is the inheritance of Muslims. Take it, learn it. Don't, don't limit yourself. Muslims tend to limit oneself that this is Sharia, this is knowledge, this is Quran, everything, anything outside than that is haram and bid'ah and whatnot. The Talabani style. But knowledge is inheritance of Muslims. So what is valuable is on the basis of how close it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what does it bring about? Quran, what does it bring about? When we recite it, it what does it bring about? bring about? It brings about a nearness to God to us. Not only Quran is valuable, but whoever attaches the Quran becomes valuable because he becomes closer to God. Thursday night is special because it's near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what it brings about. It gives us the night, an opportunity to communicate, to relate, to create that relationship with God. It becomes easier to relate to God. See, in Islam, time is not linear, as I mentioned it earlier, it's cyclic. It runs in a cycle. So Thursday night is the, the peak of all days, which is near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then in the whole year, the month of Rajab, Shaban and Ramazan are the peak of nearness that will create the nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why it's considered to be the month of Haram, as in dua of the day of night of Mabas, we recite, we recite that, that Allahumma wa hada Rajabul Mukarram alladhi akramtana bih awwala ashkur al huram. Allahumma, oh Allah, this month is the month of Rajab al-Mukarram al-Ladi akramtana, that you have honored it, and it has considered to be the awwala ashhur al-Huram, the first month of Haram. So Rajab, Shaban, and Ramazan in the whole year is valuable. 
why it provides us that ground that we can relate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, in this month of Rajab as well, there is a time of peak. That pinnacle point where there is the auge of the month of Rajab, which is the 27th of Rajab, which is today. In the whole month. See, in the whole week, one day is valuable, Juma, through which one night is valuable, the night of Thursday. In the whole year, Rajab, Shaban, and Ramazan are valuable, the greatest of all months. During the hours of the day, the times of Salat are valuable. Because it's creating that. It's giving us the opportunity to relate to God. In the month of Rajab, one day is valuable. That is the peak of the month, which is the day of Mabras. In the month of Sha'aban, one day and one night, the 15th is valuable. In the month of Ramadan, the night of Qadr is valuable. So it's giving us that opportunity to link to God, to create a relationship to God. It makes it easier for us. It's doing that and it has value by itself as well. It has an essential value to it. I mean, Quran is not just valuable because it is. it, it allows us to come closer to God by recitation or by implementation of it. No. By essence, it has a value as well. We have to respect the Quran. Regardless, we recite, we do not recite. So by essence, it has a value. So therefore, the day of Mabas, which is today, have that aspect. Now, that's one. Recite one Salat ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Then look at this beautiful dua that we are supposed to recite in the, on the eve of Mabas. Allahumma inni as'aluka bit tajalli al-azam. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of that tajalli. For the sake of that tajalli means Manifestation. Tajalli means theophany, philosophically speaking or mystically speaking. Reflection. You know, when we see ourselves in the face in the mirror, it is my tajalli in the mirror. You see, to make it simple, it is that tajalli. So he said, Allahumma inni asaluka bi tajalli al azam. We are seeking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through that for the sake of that, that that greatest azam for the sake of that greatest tajalli that took place on that night on which is in the early hours of Mabas of today what took place the beginning of Mabas Iqra bringing of the Quran because see the and you know the way we understand reality on the basis of Islam, on the basis of Islam which has been taught to us by the Ahl Bayt there are different levels of understanding Islam or understanding reality. But we are talking about that reality which is considered to be uh, mystical, which is considered to be Irfani reality. How to see things, how, what is the reality of things. The things around us, the things that we see, is nothing but the tajalli of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in Nahjul Balagha, Amir al-Mumin says that, you know, Allah is doing tajalli to its creation, by its creation. Aynama tuwallu fasamma wajhullah. That's what the Quran says. Wherever you turn, there is a face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we do not really see that this is 